Look at the rain, can't do it. What the heck am I doing in wet weather gears? Yo, it's a wet Thursday. Even though it's raining, the guys have found ways to carry the job on. Yo, I'm on site. And just behind me, we've got the 14 ton digger on site. We've got a house. Just think about the two of those meeting and then there's no more house. And then we're gonna build five in a row and they're gonna be five single story townhouses. It's gonna be an epic development about to kick off. So we had to remove the asbestos in his feet and we also had to rip up some vinyl in the kitchen. Before any demolition, we get a demolition report and that talks about all the hazards on site. And then we engage a company to remove that safely. That's been done and ready to go. We're gonna have to get rid of this little garage down the back. We started working on this project a year ago. It takes that long to get resource consent, to get building consent, to get everything lined up. And now we're ready to go. We need to walk through inside. It's a bit dark because it's early in the morning and the power's been switched off. So you'll have to make do. This is an old two bedroom house. It was built in the 60s. Brick, concrete tile. And because of those things, we couldn't pick it up and move it. So unfortunately the digger's gonna bowl it. This is where I come when I'm angry at work and I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> How many square meters is the house that's getting demolished? I think it's about 90. It's about a 550 square meter section. But we'll put that answer here. And then right now, here's what we're gonna build. New fence all along all three boundaries. This side here is going to be the access way where you get into the units. This side over here is north facing, so the sun starts there, traps along there, and these will all be like little private backyards, all fully landscaped. It's going to be amazing. And someone's already asked if they can take the washing line. <laughs> Win. Tick. <laughs> Yeah, we've just pulled up to, what are we calling this? The other Central Rubber Heart site. So this is a great example over there. We're demolishing something over here, just around the corner in Central Rubber Heart. We have got two townhouses that are being painted. With the guys are cracking on with the fence. We're gonna start doing the outside work. Yo, look how cool it looks inside with fresh coat of paint. It really gives it shape. Right, remember when we did this TikTok here? Apprentices. Have you got the right attitude for your apprenticeship? Remember when we did those videos? So I've got a kitchen over here and a bunch of plugs. I've got a bench here. For the record, we don't make anyone work in the rain with their choice. Personally, I hate working in the rain. What the heck am I doing in wet weather gears? If you haven't already, go ahead, click subscribe, let's go. Man, how good does this look? How many times have we stood here and we said, oh, we're doing this, we're doing that, and we've pretty much done it. We've got one more pour of concrete, which was supposed to go in yesterday. Look at the rain, can't do it.
So there's a shortage of nail plates, eh? That's incredible, eh? Yo, it's a wet Thursday afternoon and we're on site, got the weatherboards being finished off and we've got a bunch of subbies doing some work on the inside. So last time we were here we talked about we were going to do weatherboard to window height, we're going to put the flashings in, we're going to get an inspection. Inspection passed. Good work, Jared. We're pretty much clad on the outside. We're doing finishing trim next week. So you know that part as rocks we use up at Akatarawa. We're gonna put that on the pillar there in the front two corners of the building. It's gonna look sweet. And then I think we're getting the outside painted two colors. Then let's go inside and have a look. So the noise you can hear with that nailing off the last of the weatherboards. We've also got the aircon guys up in the roof and the ducted heat pump in this one. How you doing, man? What's new? Trying to keep on top of everything. Yeah, is that why you're in the roof? Yeah. <laughs> We've got the sparky come through, plumber's done his bit, and insulation comes next week. It's been a real crap week of weather here in Abaha. So that you'll notice all the tools are inside and what the boys have been doing is pre-cutting the scribers. Cool to see that even though it's raining, the guys have found ways to carry the job on. They've managed to stay warm and dry inside, but continue to find ways to do the outside work and just punch forward with it. All those little things make a big difference to the timeline of the build. Like rather than us just walking away and saying, oh well we can't work, it's too wet. Finding ways to keep it moving. On that note, let's keep moving.